Frank will just go here and kind of like. other every now and then. But the jam in the donut is the head, right? He got me nice with a nice temple shot there, if you saw that. Brought me up, came over like he was coming for an overhead. I bring the parry up here, and he swats me right underneath. All right? That's how it's done. You see? Because you know, you know they have to parry their head. So if they're so if you can't get through their defenses, that's the thing. Now one thing you were doing that maybe was a little less successful is when you come in, just and running in like that. Don't do that because all I have to do is stand like this and just you know just kind of block really really there. Wait till you get wait till you get close and then grab your arms. So. We, we don't want necessarily want to do that. If we're coming in here like this, that's why we change, if we're going to feed that to them, right? Boom, boom. I'm, that second shot has to be, I've got to be thinking of doing something in the future, right? If I can chain those together, together if I see they're being robotic, right? And they're, they're responding the same way every time, sure, I can feed them that, that sequence get them to follow, and then change it up at the last minute. Right? All of that. But, number one thing here, takeaway here, is the head. Your head is very vulnerable, and as you see, when we're going at it, so much of it is guarding our head and attacking the other person. That's what we're looking for. Right? And yes, the hands are there. But notice, when we're moving around, you see how our hands are moving? So every time I go to swat at his hands, he moves them. And the same thing with me. Right? And so that we're basically taking our strikes to the specific targets. 
right? We're not just and hoping we hit something, right? We want to take our time and, and really, really target out those spots, right? Now, of course, that takes time and experience and, and you know, practice, right? So don't feel bad that you, you, you don't not, you're not necessarily doing it right now, right? It's your first time ever fighting with these things. People don't do this no more, right? This is the kind of stuff that training helps train out of you, right? It's what happens with every single person when they first start free sparring with weapons. Every single person. You throw a mask on them, you give them some gloves, give them some armor. It doesn't matter. They're going to do the same things. Exactly. I mean, I've seen it over and over and over and over and over again. And that's why all this material, no matter what sword school you go to, no matter what type, most of their first lessons are very similar. <laughs> learning how to block, learning how to strike, learning how to step, all of that. And most sword schools, I don't know of anyone that has, that has contradicted this. If there is one, I don't know about it. Footwork is 80% of sword work. Right? If you can move around well and position yourself, you will win. You, if you can do it better than the other guy. Right? Because, again, labor-saving devices. Right? They're supposed to multiply force, create more damage. All right. Um, anybody want to go with Frank?